friends. So I just made this card and it was so much fun I thought I'm going to make a video. This stamp set is called Sitting Here. It came out in the current annual catalog that um, became available July 1st, 2016. It's a wonderful stamp set. So let me show you what I've done in this card and then I'll get started. Um, What's really cool about this card is the pillows and the flower pot and even the kitty are all 3D. They are all popped up on Stampin' Dimensionals, so hopefully you can see that on the video. And it's really a fun, easy, easy way to add some dimension to the card. So let's get started. So my card base for this card is Elegant Eggplant, and when folded it measures 5.5 by 4.25. So of course you would cut that at 11 inches and then fold it in half okay then I have a piece of very vanilla that measures five and a quarter by four and then the piece that we're going to stamp on measures three and three quarter inches by five what I'm going to do is take my multi-purpose liquid glue and just layer the very vanilla onto my card base One trick that I've um, seen people do, and I've done it a couple times too, is you can actually take a framelit and cut out the centerpiece of your layer and then you're not technically wasting all this bit and you'll still have some cardstock to use for another project. But we're not doing that on this video. And then on the inside of the card, I've just put a piece of computer paper that I've cut down to measure five and a quarter by four. So we're going to start by stamping the swing. So now I just have it placed down on my paper and I'm going to take my clear block and just line it up. That way I know it's on there straight. I'm going to use my black stays on. You could use the memento ink as well if you prefer. And on the first card I've made, I've put the swing over on this side, right? But for this card, I'm going to put the swing on this side just for a little bit of variety and I'm stamping off the paper pushing down nice and firm alright so obviously I didn't ink up this little bit very well but you know what I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm going to be putting flowers down on the little um, bits that are holding the swing up okay I'm gonna add the flowers um, on this card I actually used stamps from a retired set. I believe it was called Herb Expressions, but I'm going to use the Number of Years stamp set because I really like these images as well. So I'm going to start with my greenery. I'm going to use my Garden Green ink. Ink that up. I am just going to stamp that right there. Do it again. And this time I'm going to stamp more on this side. Just like that. So it kind of looks like it's under a tree is what I'm going to be thinking. I'm actually going to add some more greenery over here too. Then it looks like we've got a big tree that is. I'm taking my rose red ink pad and I'm going to take my little rose stamp. Ink that up. And stamp it down. Now I'm going to take my little flower and I'm going to stamp that in Calypso Coral. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to add some sky and some grass. So I'm just taking a piece of computer paper. I'm going to use that as my mask. Taking some old olive and a stamp and sponge that I've cut into just a tiny little bit and then I'm just literally going to tap it on. All right, there's my grass. Now I'm taking my soft sky. Again, taking my stamping sponge. I 
I'm not worrying about going over top of the swing because I'm going to be coloring that in anyway so it'll hide the blue. If you wanted to, you can keep some little bits of white. kind of makes it look like you've got some cloud on there. And that's what I'm going to do. So we have our blue sky and our green grass. Next it's time to do some coloring. I'm taking my soft suede and I'm squeezing the lid to the base so that I can get a big puddle of ink. And we have quite a lot of ink on the lid, which is just fine. And take my aqua painter. I love using the aqua painters. It's such a fast way to add color. And I'm just squeezing it onto my hand just so I can tell how much water is coming out. I'm picking up some of that color and if you have too much color or water just wipe it onto your scrap paper first. So there's my first layer of brown, letting that dry a little bit, picking up some more color, and I'm going to go back in. This is going to add some shading. Clear off the ink from my brush, going back and forth. I'm going to use Marina Mist for the cushion. So even though there's a lot of coloring on this card, it actually comes together pretty quickly. Now I'm taking my crumb cake marker and I'm just going to color in this bit here. Fine tip on my basic black marker just to add those little lines that didn't come through when I stamped it. So now it's time to start adding some pillows and the flowers. I'm going to ink these up again using Black Stays On. I'm going to stamp my flower pot. Set that aside. I'm also going to stamp my flower pot onto the card because when it is raised up, I want to see a little bit of the outline behind the card. It might be hard to tell on the video, but it really makes it look 3D when you do that. So I'm going to stamp it a little bit on the grass. Stamp my pillows. I have such a hard time throwing away my little scraps of um, cardstock because of exactly reasons like this. And actually, I can probably squeeze in this pillow right up here in the corner. So I'm taking my pumpkin pie. I'm going to work on this pillow first. So I'm just going to add some pumpkin pie. Now I'm going to use the same marker and just kind of go around the circle of my pillow there. So now I'm going to go back to my rectangular pillow and I'm using my tempting turquoise marker. And I'm just going to color in those lines. I'm taking my blushing bride and I'm going to add some pink to the circular pillow and a little bit of crushed curry around the center. Time to move on to the flower pot. I'm taking my Cajun craze and my aqua painter, picking some up with my brush and I'm just going to color in the pot. And again, going back in with some more ink just to add some shading. I'm using rose red to color in some of the flowers. And going back to this piece, I'm also going to add some rose red here as well in the same places that I've done it on the first piece. 
I'm not going to worry about the center because you're not really going to see that. Pulling out my pumpkin pie. Move that aside. Go back to this piece. I'm going to take some crushed curry. Add it to my daisies. And I'm using wild wasabi to color in all the leaves. The three quarter inch circle punch fits this little pillow perfectly. So I'm going to punch that out. And set that aside. Take my paper snips and cut out the rectangular pillow. And then I'm going to quickly cut out the flower pot. This is called fussy cutting. And I actually like doing this. And the trick when you're doing it is to move not just your scissors, but move the paper along with the scissors and kind of follow the design. And this actually doesn't take as long as one would think. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because I know you get the idea, but this probably takes maybe a minute or two to get all the little bits cut out. Okay, so I have all my little pieces cut out. Now, in the flower pot, there's still some white bits in between the little flowers. What I'm going to do is take my soft sky ink with my aqua painter and I'm going to pick up some ink and just go in those little white areas so it looks like I've got the sky in the background. That way it will blend right onto the card. You don't have to use the aqua painter for this. You can use a blender pen. You can even use a marker if you wish. But my aqua painter was handy dandy so that's what I grabbed. Okay so I've got my flower pot, my pillows cut out and one thing I forgot to show on the video was I actually stamped and colored and cut out a little dog too. I decided we would use the dog on this card instead of the cat that I showed in my first card. So here's the fun part. We want to pop these little cut out pieces. So I've got my paper piercing mat. I'm going to turn them all upside down and now I'm taking the stylus that comes with the scoring tool and I'm going to just start making little circles and you'll see that the paper is going to start to curl and this is what's making it like 3D. So easy and just the coolest. So now it's popping right up. I'm going to do the same thing with the circle and I'm actually going to just kind of go around the edge here and then do it in the center. I'm doing the same thing on the rectangular pillow except I'm doing um, back and forth motions instead of circular ones. Okay, now the dog, I'm actually wanting his head and his upper body to be raised on the card and I'm just going to glue the back end onto the card flat. So I'm just going to do his head portion and a little bit of the upper body with the stylus and leave the rest flat. Now I'm taking my Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm adding two behind the square pillow, one behind the circle pillow, putting one on the flower pot, one above it, and then I'm going to snip part of the edge of my dimensionals here. So I've got two little pieces and just fill them in these little spots. And then for the dog, I'm just going to put one behind his head. All right, let's put the pieces down first before you glue anything down to make sure you're happy with the position of everything. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Stinking cute. You see how that all comes together? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to stick the pillow on first and I'm just putting it up a little bit so it looks like it's kind of leaning against that handle there. 
And then my rectangular pillow, I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. Like that. Taking my multi-purpose glue, putting a little bit on the back end of the dog, just in the middle, pushing down, and then popping his head up on the rectangular pillow. Lining it up so it looks like he's also on the cushion. Can you see that? So it almost looks like his body is in between the two pillows. It's really cool. Now we're going to add the flower pot. And I'm just placing this just down a little bit from the stamped image. So again, everything's 3D. Looks really, really neat. Now I'm taking some gray stitched ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around the card. And I want it to kind of just go right underneath the flower pot, which will kind of ground it a little bit. Grabbing a glue dot, I'm going to put it right underneath the pot because I want that to hold my ribbon. Just like that. I'm going to take another glue dot, do the same thing on the other end, and I'm kind of folding my glue dot in half because it's wider than the ribbon is. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the ribbon. And then make sure it's straight. Flip it over and grab a little bit of tape to hold down those ends. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is to sponge the edge with some early espresso. Now, you really ordinarily want to do that before you put the ribbon on. Okay, so I'm using my multi-purpose liquid glue again. I'm going to add this to my card base. I used elegant eggplant for my card base and I didn't use any elegant eggplant on my card and I should have to tie it in. I just completely forgot. So that's all right. I'm going to take my elegant eggplant marker and we're going to go over top that Cajun craze we used on the little orange flowers and use this on the center. And that, and that ties in the card base. Which actually that looks really good. So I've already gone ahead and stamped the expression on a piece of scrap strip from my um, Fairy Vanilla cardstock and I've just added the little notches here to make it look like a cute little banner and then I took my bone folder and I just kind of lightly went underneath and over top to give it that little bit of dimension. So now we're going to put a glue dot on the end and another one right there. And I think we'll put that um, put that right there. I don't want to hide the flower too much, so we'll put it up a little bit. And then the second glue dot's right there. So now the bow, you can put it right underneath the dog, or you can put it sort of next to the flower pot. And that's what I'm going to do. Put it kind of in between the flower pot and the swing going to add a tiny pearl to the center of this round pillow. 
Isn't that cute? So that card does take a little more time than a quick, you know, one layer card, but when you need to make a special card, oh my gosh, this set is the one to go to. And actually you can make really fast, simple cards with this set too. So I really love how these cards turned out. It's actually literally pouring cats and dogs outside. <laughs> so it's a perfect day to stamp and play and just spend a little bit more time on my cards, such as these ones. And I, I just think they're adorable. So again, the first one with the cat, and then the second one with the little dog. I, I just can't tell you how cute these are in real life. Oh, and you know what else I just realized? On here, I use some of my clear Wink of Stella just to add a little Shazam to the pillows and the flowers. So I'm actually going to quickly do that. Just a little bit of Wink of Stella. Putting on the pillows and just dabbing randomly onto the flowers. And there you go. Gotta have the sparkle going on. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And um, if you don't have this set, make sure you get it because you're gonna love it. Happy stamping. Mm -hmm.